Hey, welcome back to NavinReviews.com, the ultimate source of product unboxing and reviews. So today I'll be unboxing one of my latest product called Intel Compute Stick. As you see on the screen, this is a lightweight USB type of uh, computer stick you can actually use to use on your HDTV, which has an input for HD, HDMI. So this is uh, one of the you know, latest uh, product reviews which I'm doing right now. I've ordered this from Yuxta.com for about $49. It's rated cheapest price I could ever find on the online market. Basically, I've used I've ordered it for one of my sister who can use it on a computer for small uh, computing purposes, not a big one. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this. I've ordered it from Yuxter as I mentioned earlier. So this is very lightweight and portable kind of thing. You can use it on the go wherever you want. If you have your computing needs specifically and you don't want to carry a laptop with you this is the best product which you can purchase so let's go ahead and start unboxing this this comes in a very good packaging uh, from the manufacturer itself and let's go ahead and open it okay so looks like I have to packed it very tightly so let me just go back to the screen and open it up and come back again okay here it is so the product itself comes with uh, two user documentation one is uh, instructions installation instructions and another one is the safety precautions the installation instruction comes in various different languages we which we basically don't ever read on so we will put them aside because it really doesn't matter because we are all in a computing world and we know how to use what so let us put this aside so let's go ahead uh, to the to the original boxing itself so this is uh, the, the product boxing uh, the product yeah box you could say the product box and uh, basically I've opened it all all three once so as I, I do not end up in a you know wrong interpretation so so let me just open the box and show you what all accessories it comes with so just hold on so the table uh, there, there are many kind of input input supply units uh, supplied to this I mean based on your country location you can either use 120 volts or 220 volts power supply port so we will open them up later and I'll show you what all and which all countries you can use it for so this is the travel I mean the uh, not to say the travel but it's actually the charging port itself so just you have to use that ports in this slide it and you can use it based on your country so the one is the cable itself so it's a it's a kind of USB USB uh, the modern USB kind of uh, charger so you have to just put one port at the, the power supply and that the port directly goes into the uh, the device itself so let's uh, so this is a cable which you HDMI cable so you have to use this for or uh, you know just to as an extender one port goes to the uh, the TV and the other port to the device itself let's go to the original product now so let's put them all aside because we are not here for that so this is the Intel compute stick the atom processor inside this is running a Ubuntu version of OS you will also get a full stack of Windows 10 running on it but that costs about $125 online so this is the, the product itself so it just similarly looks like a PC small PC because you can see the exhaust exhaust vents outside so that's just to make sure that it will be you know cooler so yeah looks like it's tightly gripped on so yeah so here is the device so this is running a really good processor I mean maybe a long time back when I was actually in college days I used to have this kind of processor in a whole desk which we used to occupy occupied with the VPC and it was ha used to have this processor running inside it so hope you understand how how well the technology has evolved and it's still evolving so you might see more smaller USB pi USB kind of uh, computer sticks in future so let me just show you the actual product itself like I mean to say what all input ports you can actually supply to it if you can expand or not if you can expand the memory or not and what's the power supply you know options to it 
so here we come this is the this is the USB input device so you can actually input your Bluetooth uh, chip into it and you can use a wireless keyboard or mouse this is a power supply itself so if I shown you that the USB the USB cable which I've shown you earlier yeah, this one so that end will actually go into that power supply and the other one is um, this is the power off on on button so just put hold on it for a few seconds and it will you know automatically boot up and at the end you'll have a micro SD card which you can use to extend the memory of it because it comes with only 8 GB of memory if you want to expand it more you have to just put a micro SD and expand the memory of it so this is how the whole uh, setup look like, looks like so yeah so this is how the we i mean this is how the product unboxing itself so hope you liked it um i do do recommend you to you know keep visiting my website at navindreviews.com for more product reviews and comments if you want you can leave your comments in the below section i will definitely take it positively and will try to evolve my videos uh, no further going forward so do visit my website at navindreviews.com and do like this channel for further updates thank you